I wore mine today at my OB appointment. Good morning, Marple fans. The baby is coming. Baby's here. Oh, uh, he's but here. And I'm not going to video myself because it's an ugly cry. Oh, he's dancing with me. Yes, the baby is here. Oh, yay, grandbaby number 29. How exciting. Today is April 10th, Good Friday. Little baby was born on Good Friday. And look at the sun shining, the blossoms are blooming. I'm so glad that she's able to go to the hospital, have the baby. We were wondering. And they didn't have to take the baby away. They said if she has, her or anybody in the family has any sickness, that they would take the baby away for two weeks. So we're happy about that. Yay and happy f Good Friday. And today I am not going to eat for two meals because I'm fasting for the country and the workers. I'm fasting for the workers. The whole church is. And it's going to be a good day. We're going to get through this. It's going to be all right. Oh, look at that face. What a cutie. <laughs> oh, Joanna looks like she's doing good. She's happy he is here. And I'm not going to video myself because it's an ugly cry. I'm just so relieved that the baby's here. Oh, my goodness. I just called Jimmy Joe and the baby's nursing. He's fine. They haven't weighed him yet. And I just keep crying. I don't know why. I think because uh, it's been such a worry with the coronavirus. And everything went really good. She was eight centimeters when she got there. I'm sorry, you guys. Oh, my gosh. But we didn't know if they'd even let her in the hospital. They wore... The, they went in about 9.30 this morning and they wore the masks that I sent them and the hospital took their temperature. He came out in just a few pushes. The anesthesiologist got there just in time when she's at nine centimeters. And he, he came out so fast and he's got chubby cheeks. I'm just so relieved because we just didn't know from day to day and yay. Relieved. Thanks, everybody, for your prayers. I gotta go compose myself. My goodness. <laughs> These are happy tears. Happy and relief tears. Oh, hello, Grandpa, number 29. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Grandbaby, number 29 pounds, 5 ounces. Is that... That's big. Is that big? <laughs> That's big. <laughs> I know 10's big. Yes. How much Seven's is Seven's average. How much is Dallin when he was born? He was nine. No, he, he might have been ten. I'm not sure. But I'm thank thank you for combing your hair. <laughs> it didn't look very good. I looked at me like I went, whoa. <laughs> Looking at some old movies. Old movies. Nineteen ninety eight. You've been been going for nineteen years. Why did you only have a house? My hands were filled with dirt And I was a little girl Turned on the water spout Nothing didn't come out Mama quickly walked in Looked at her and I grinned I Said don't worry mom Daddy can fix it Daddy, you can do anything you're the king You can fly, you can swing me away high You can conquer the world with your smile Yes, you can No matter what goes wrong
I slipped my prom dress on And then I answered the phone He said I'd know what to do I'm down with the flu Through the tears I saw my dad In a brand new city hat He winked and took my hand He said daddy can fix it Daddy you can do anything you're the king You can fly, you can swim me away apart You can conquer the world with your smile Yes you can No matter what goes wrong Never alone Cause daddy can fix it He took off his wedding band And put it in my hand He said there's no need to cry We gave it our best try With a loving hand my dad took him aside He said you haven't even begun to try You're the daddy now, boy, go Go and fix it Daddy, you can do anything at the king You can fly, you can swing me away up high You can conquer the world with your smile Yes, you can Well, I finally got uh, my composure back I got dressed for the day, and I've got 15 of these sewn up for uh, Mr. Modest, Sexy Modest, and got the material cut. Now i got to get some, get going. He says there's a lot of orders to fill. I've got to get going. I'll just, I'll just get going on the sewing, and, and I'm still fasting. It's 4 o'clock in the afternoon. I think I'll go till a couple more hours. Just praying and, uh, for the workers out there that are uh you know that have to work the rest of us that don't have to work um we're benefiting from those uh benefits <laughs> and a little baby i um so excited the little baby got here i can't remember if i told you he was nine pounds five ounces did i tell you and it's just such a pretty sunshiny day today papa owes out on a walk and look at that pretty sunshiny day and we got the blossoms going and i got the hawaii music playing at the neighbors it's a good day and glad everything worked out with little probably call him pj or little joey or or something but um it's it's a good thing and Looks like we got uh, some kind of package in there. I think it's that uh, weeder that I got. Check it out. It's a big enough box there. And I bought the. Why is it open? It kind of looks empty. No, there's something in there. Yeah, I bought this weeder. It's a special kind of weeder. You just twist it. See, it's got this handle. Oh, that'll be nice. Look at all this bubble packing oh, the grandkids would love to dance on those oh maybe i'll save them for the kids grandkids someday i wanted it for this section because it's really hard to get in there you just twist it of course i'll need two hands to do it and it's supposed to till that dirt up. That's a wheel that I got from my mom and dad's house. And Papa all made it back from his walk. How'd it go? Went great. Good. And it got a little warm out there for you, huh? Yeah, it did. two and a half I miles. A on my arms. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Glad you made it back. I'm uh, going to break my fast now. Go have some watermelon. And just wanted to say you can just feel, you can just feel it around. You can feel everybody praying. It's a powerful, powerful feeling. Everybody praying for the same thing all over the world. It's just, it's just awesome. And here's a picture of our family at my mom's funeral, 2012. All 12, 13 of us there. This is a big limousine. Her, Sherry's son worked for a limo company 
and they let us rent it for free. We've never had a car big enough. And we all got to ride in that together. It was so fun. Have you ever seen a limo that big? And then she showed some pictures of the old, some old cars that we, we'd ride in the station, these old station wagons. It fit about eight of us in there, these old, old cars. But that was fun to be able to ride, have a vehicle big enough for all 13 of us. A picture of my dad dancing with Kathy. Got his uniform on. <laughs> Here we go. Oh. <laughs> How cute is that? Oh, he's dancing with me. What is Papa O doing, you wonder? I'm translating from Norwegian to English. Okay, I got this mask on from uh, Mr. Modest, Sexy Modest, and I've got to go mail those packages. I just remembered that I have two Easter baskets I need to mail. So I gotta run do that quick. I'm at the post office. Got the packages back there for <clears throat> Jimmy John and Joanna's family. Uh, hopefully get it mailed off and get it there in a, about a week. It won't be there by Sunday, so that's okay though. It'll get there when it gets there. <laughs> Joanna will be home with the baby, and so that'll work out perfect. She's probably coming home Sunday. She had the baby today, tomorrow's Saturday. Sunday's probably when she'll come home. She'll probably relax at the hospital Saturday, and it'll be there Monday. It kind of reminds me of 9-11. When 9-11 happened, things changed. Our world changed. And, and now with the coronavirus, things have changed. We may have to always get used to just not shaking hands. Uh, when you're sick, stay home, put a mask on. Uh, just be more cautious of what's going on around us. I guess I can take this off. I'm the only one in here. <laughs> uh, just be more cautious of what's going on around us and things are going to change, but we will get back to we will get back to working and stuff. People are anxious to get back to work and get the world functioning again. So let's continue on with the day. I was going to go into Home Depot to see if I had some tomato plants, but there's a long line. I guess they're only allowing so many people into the store. I guess that's one of the changes I was talking about. They're only allowed, there's like 20 people, six feet apart waiting to go in. Times are changing. He looks a lot like Jimmy <laughs> Joe's baby picture. <laughs> Look how chubby he is. There's birds singing out here. Ooh, it's a happy bird. Looks like I missed the sunset. The bird's probably saying, come out and see it. You're going to miss it. And I missed it. That's a loud chirping. And here's my dad's funeral. They died four months apart. Sherry's, the horses draw the wagon. There's our house. So awesome. I'm phone on the outhouse. We should do that one again. Well, time to say good night. A truly happy person is one who can enjoy the scenery while on a detour. That's true. Live life to the fullest and focus on the positive. That's real good. Advice. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And remember to look for that rose and see what tomorrow brings. Thank you and good night. Hold him while you can. Give hugs and kisses. Tell a little story. Father time just passed me by Look, he's a man Well, he used to play with rubber balls Just yesterday, see